Hello, good evening, everybody. Hello, are you there, people? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, William. So are you offering your work, William? No. Okay, okay, mister. Yeah, man, it looks like you're like you're driving or doing something like that. No problem. All right. Okay, cool. All right, so good evening, everybody. Uh, so we're gonna start a new week. Basically, we are we have uh, uh, you know like another uh, video conference in which we are pretty close to finish the week number three. So probably on, on Wednesday we're gonna finish the week number three, and uh, then on Thursday we're going to start week number four, which is basically going to be the last one. All right. So next week, remember, next week we're finishing this uh module basically right we're finishing with the fourth uh week uh okay michelle so you're on you you are on your way home okay uh like right now people uh besides Omara and uh, carlos mauricio who else is, is is in the house william are you in the house Yes, teacher. Llegando. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool, man. That's that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Joanna, how about you, miss? Ah. Ah, okay. You're going to be a solicitor. And Raquel? How about you, Raquel? Are you, are you there? Aquí más o menos, teacher. Cansada. Nah, I can't tell. Ya me imagino. Okay, but the good thing is that you're here. All right, so let's start with the things that we got for tonight. I'm just going to uh, pass the attendance list, and we're going to start, okay? Just give me one second. Okay, cool. Let's start over. Uh, let's say Andres Joel. Not here. Okay. Carlos Mauricio. Present. Nice. Cindy Melanie. All right. She's not here. Let's move. Stephanie Michel. Uh, she's on the way home, it says. Uh, Ivania Jamilet. Present, teacher. Okay. Good. Uh, Jacqueline Patricia. Uh, Jacqueline Patricia, are you there? Mm -hmm. Okay, she's not there. Let's move. Mm, Joanna Sarai. Okay, it says that you're going to be as a listener. Uh, let me see. Jorge Alberto. Mm, okay, it's not here. Jose Edgar. I am Jose says he's on the way home. Okay. Juan Emanuel. Okay, he's not there. Julio Cesar. Right now here. Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, very good. Carla Lisette. Present. Ah, you there. Okay. <laughs> cool. cool, man. Hasta me asusta, Carla. <laughs> okay, man. cool. Raquel Stephanie. Present. Okay, cool. Veronica Arely. Man, she's getting connected right now. All right. Wendy Jamilet. Mm, not here. Okay. 
Let's move. William Ernesto. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Ah, uh, Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's move. Carlos Josué. I guess you said present, okay? All right, cool. Uh, and the last one, Reynaldo Chavez, which is not here. Okay, cool. So we're gonna start over with the things that we got for tonight, people. Uh, but before, you know, like going into the topic that we got, uh, let's start talking a little bit about what we got. Oh, I mean, Andres is here. Okay, Andres. Give me one second, I'm gonna put it in here. You're gonna make up some things. Give me one second. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna present the thing that we're gonna have for tonight. Okay, Veronica, you're here now. Okay, cool. So let's start over, people. So what are we gonna have for tonight? Listen up. We're gonna have a very interesting topic. Tonight, we are going to uh, follow up a series of the steps of how to write a formal email, right? That's gonna be focused the whole, uh, you know, like uh, video conference tonight. This is gonna be the main topic. It says, uh, steps to write a formal email. So basically, we are going to be following up a series of steps just to write down a formal email. At the end of the explanation of these steps, we're gonna make, make a series of statements, a series of exercises, and at the end, we are going to end up with a short email that you are going to create, people. So that was part of what we are going to be, you know, like doing right now. Now, let's start over. What is the most relevant for the class? All right, we're gonna have a review from the previous class, All right? Let's remember we had a very interesting topic last class after that we're going to start with uh, writing a email preview okay and then we are going to start with the steps to write a formal email okay and then we're going to create some example practices right after that we're going to have a short conversation and after the short conversation we're going to be working in the manual all right in the creation of a very formal email all right, as, uh, together with the steps that we are going to, you know, be working on. Okay, so let's start over. Let's start over with the feedback from the previous class that we were doing on Friday. Let's start with that. What was the topic that we were discussing last class? So let me see if, uh, if the ones that were in the class Remember the topic. What was the topic that we were discussing last class? So let's just start with that. Do you guys remember the topic that we were discussing? What was the previous class topic? Does anybody remember the topic? Alguien recuerda el tema que estuvo viendo la clase pasada? Hmm. All right, let me see. Xiomara, what was the topic that we were discussing last class? Mm. Children. Ah, okay. We were doing how to uh, use should and shouldn't, right? Should is used for suggestions. Ah, okay. We were talking about that should. It's used to make suggestions. Very good. So the topic was should and shouldn't, right? Let's remember, should is basically uh -huh, use 
to make suggestions or recommendations, right? This is this is like the main. Uh, I'm gonna say this. The main definition about this uh, type of verb. Let's remember that should is a modal verb. Okay, with should basically we got a structure. How to about how to use should. Let's remember with this type of a structure we can create positive and negative statements. Of course, the structure basically consists of subject. Right. After the subject, we got tool. All right. Plus tool, we got verb in base form plus complement. So basically, this is a structure that we generally use with this a specific verb. Let's remember that. Uh, do we got some examples? Yes, of course. Take a look at this. I should. Listen up, English, the whole class. So in this case, we got the subject, and that in this case is I, then we got should, then we got to speak. Speak, remember, is the base form of the verb, according to the structure. And then English, the whole class, it's basically the complement of the sentence, all right? Another one, for example, she should, uh, what? Let's put, wake up early to go to work. Ah, if you take a look at this other example, in here we got the subject that in this case is going to be she, and then we got should, remember, Recordemos que como es un verbo modal, este tipo de verbos, por lo general, no le agregamos S en las terceras personas. Okay? Let's remember that we don't have the S in the third form or when we use singulars in this case. Okay? And then we got wake up, which is the base form of the verb according to the structure. And then we got early to go to work. That's the complement. Okay? So this is the complement. What are we doing in this case? In this case, we are giving recommendation, all right? Acá, básicamente, lo que hacemos es estar dando recomendaciones, o, por así decirlo, consejos, okay? Remember that. Another advice that we can provide, for example, my students. So in this case, it's plural. You see? Es como que yo diga they, my students, should pay attention to the class. All right, so in that case, my students se convierte en el subject, okay? This is the whole subject. Then should, in this case, is the structure that we are using. And then we got pay, all right? Pay, in este caso es la forma base del verbo, según la estructura. And then attention to the class, that's becoming the complement of this structure, okay? So what are we doing in, in this case? We are providing recommendations, remember that. Now, how to create negatives? Now, negatives with should. Remember, in this case, we just form the negative just by adding should plus not, okay? Or contracted, that in this case becomes in shouldn't that's the correct pronunciation of this contraction uh between should and not remember shouldn't that's gonna be the, the the pronunciation and what is the structure the structure is pretty similar right the structure is similar to the one before the only thing that you have to put is not for example look at this we got a subject let's put first structure All right we got a subject, okay, plus, take this out, subject plus, should plus, not, plus, main verb, okay, 
in base form plus complement. So this is the structure for creating a negative statement. You see? Now we got it in here. Look, I shouldn't. Check this out. I shouldn't. Okay. Buy. I shouldn't buy unnecessary things. Check this out. I shouldn't. Okay. Ya acá prácticamente tengo la contracción de all right, should plus not acá. Okay. I shouldn't buy. Buy sería el verbo de forma base. Y luego unnecessary things. Básicamente ya sería el complemento. Okay. De toda la estructura. Now, using a, a sentence in third person. He shouldn't. You see? He shouldn't. Go to work late. You see? He shouldn't go to work late. Or he shouldn't go late to work. So both ways are possible. So in that case, we got the term form he. And then we got shouldn't. And then we got the main verb go. And then to work late. That's the complement. Right? That's the complement of the sentence. Cool. This is basically what we were discussing last class. Si ven, esto es parte de lo que estuvimos viendo, ok, la semana pasada, en la última clase. All right, so in that case, uh, this is like, you know, like a short feedback that we can create just to know a little bit about how to use should and how to use shouldn't, right, as a suggestion or advice. Ok, cool. Any question with this, people? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Do you have any doubt with the structure of how to create negatives or something? Tenemos alguna pregunta de cómo crear las oraciones negativas, positivas. Everything is okay? Hmm, apparently, everything is okay. All right. No problem with that. Now, can we create questions with this? Yes, we can create questions. How to create questions with this type of things? Look. I see, uh, the a general way. Look at this. Una yes, no question se puede crear con should, like this. Look, should plus subject plus main verb plus complement. Check this out. To you, okay, connect to class every night. To you connect to class every night? Ah, you might say, yes, I should. Or if it is negative, no, I shouldn't. So you got the options in here, right? Of putting this structure like this, you see? So this is the way how you can do this, right? Now, in this case, it's a just no question. Remember, this is a just no question formation. All right, cool. Any question with the structure to, to make questions? Alguna pregunta con esa estructura para formular preguntas? Is it everything okay? El verbo no va a cambiar, siempre se va a hacer en el base, ¿verdad? Exactly, el verbo no cambia. Lo único que cambia es la posición del sujeto y el uso de should. Que acá pasa a ser primero should porque es el auxiliar, all right? Y luego el subject pasa a un segundo lugar in the question, right? But that's, that's, that's pretty much what you do. Okay, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver si podemos crear este tipo de preguntas a partir de una just no question usando should, okay? How come, for example, 
In this case, the answers might be very. You might use singular, uh, I mean, you might use plural, you might use singular, you might use uh, positive or negative answers. Uh, it's going to be up to you. For example, Xiomara. Yes. Xiomara, should you buy a car? Yes, I should. Nah, okay, pretty cool. Now, Xiomara, I would like you to ask one question to Carlos Mauricio. Just in shoes. Should you eat healthy every day? Ah, okay, cool. Carlos? No, 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 Okay, repeat the question, Xiomara. Should you eat healthy every day? Ah, okay. Should you eat healthy today, uh, every day? Eat healthy. Comer saludable. Yes, I sure. Ah, okay, cool. Thank you, Xiomara. Now, okay. Carlos, give me one example questions. Make a question to Carla. So she's going to answer to you. Los demás vayan pensando en qué pregunta hacer. Ajá. Ahí tiene la estructura, Carlos. Lo único que va a buscar es un verbo y complemento. That's it. Ajá, mister. No se me ocurre nada, bonito. Vaya, <risa> vaya, le voy a ayudar. Escoja un verbo. ¿Qué verbo quiere, quiere utilizar en la pregunta? Puede ser cualquiera. Make. Make. Ah, make, make. Ahora mencioneme un vocabulario que esté relacionado con el verbo make, que usted quiera preguntar. All right, for example. Por ejemplo. Exercise. Ah, en realidad con exercise es do. Do exercise. Right. Should, should do should you exercise should you vamos a seguir la, la estructura listen up should you make exercise should you do exercise should do should you do exercise Ah, okay. Everything. Okay, very good. Ahí ya tenemos la pregunta. Carla? Do you do exercise every day, Carla? Yes, I should. Ah, okay. Yes, I should. ¿Y si fuese negativo? No, I shouldn't. Okay, cool. No, I shouldn't. Good. Now, I want you to ask one question to Emmanuel. So let's see if she's active. Okay. No sé si está bien, usted me corrige. Okay. Should I go to the park? Ah, okay, no. that's, that's just like, should I go to the party? Eso es más que todo como un permiso. Pero that's ah, okay. okay. That's okay, Emmanuel. Yes, I, I should. Yes, I should. En este caso, Manuel, ya no usted no diría yes, I should, porque ella le está diciendo, ¿debería yo ir a la fiesta? No puede decir usted yes, I should, porque no, no, no es como, sí, yo debería. Yes, we, we should. 
Ah, en este caso sería, Manuel, listenar. Yes, you should. Porque usted le está dando la recomendación de, de sí o no, right? So, en este caso sería, yes, you should. Ok. O como ella dice, should I? Es like, ¿debería yo ir a la fiesta? Ah, entonces usted le va a decir, sí, deberías. Ok. That's pretty different. Ok. Cool. Emanuel. Ask one okay. question to Karen. <coughs> ok. Should you, should you drink some beers? <laughs> Okay. okay. No, I shouldn't. Okay, very good. Thank you, Manuel. Now, Karen, ask one question to Carlos. Okay. Should you save some money every month? Nah, good question. Mr. Chavez? No, I shouldn't. Ah, ok. <laughs> man, that's, that's, that's part of your future, man. Why you say no? But it's ok, man, it's ok. No le gusta, no le gusta ahorrar dinero ya de Karen. <laughs> ok, Carlos, now ask one question to William. Ok, so you make different steps to win. Eh, le escuché algo cortado. Solo le escuché you, you, you may, no sé qué diferencia ahí está ahí le escuché. Ok, prefiero ya. Oye, P, please, Carlos. He's writing down in the, in the chat. Are you typing it? So you make different steps to win? Ah, different steps to win. Ah, okay. William? No, I shouldn't. Okay, okay, cool. Let me see. I want you to ask one question to Michelle. Michelle, are you at home already? Michelle. Le pregunto. Give me one second. No sé qué se hizo. No, man, she got disconnected, I think. Creo que se desconectó. All right. Uh, in that case, ask Andres. Andrés, ok. Yeah, you, you should take breakfast every day. Ah, uh, follow up the, 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 the structure, William. Should you take breakfast? Ah, different. Very good. Every day. Should you take a breakfast every day, Andrés? No sé, me perdí. Ah, ¿por qué se perdió, me man? Perdí. Ok, I, I mean, you, you just give the answer. Simplemente tiene que dar la respuesta, así como hemos estado haciendo. Of course. Ok, you might say, yes, I should. Oh, ok, yes, I do. I should, should, should. Okay, cool. Do you have prepared your question, Andres? Casi no le escuché. Uh, do you have your question? 
Do you have your question? Que si tiene su pregunta no, lista. No. ¿Eh? no totalmente. A ver, ¿qué tiene? No, no le miento, realmente no la tengo. Ah, I mean, you should do it, man. You should do it. Let me see. Verónica, do you have yours? Hello, yes. Hi, okay, cool. Can you can you tell that question that you have to Ivania? Okay. Ivania, should you use less your cell phone? No, okay. No, I should. No, I shouldn't. Ah, okay, cool. No, I shouldn't. Thank, thank you, uh, Veronica. Now, Ivania, could you ask your question to Michelle? Now she's there, man. Ya vine. No me conectaba. Ah, sí, así vi. Nomás dije Michelle y se desapareció, man. <laughs> Yo tengo una. Okay, give me one second. Ivana is going to ask you first, okay? Okay. okay. Should you take a break? Me escuché otra vez. Should you take a break? Should you take a break? Yes, I should. Ah, okay, cool. Thank you, Vania. Now, uh, Michelle, with the one that you have, ask that one to Raquel. Eh... Pero me corrija, a ver si no me equivoco. Ok. Should you drink coffee in the morning? Ok, cool. Raquel, do you have it? Raquel, are you there? Hello, Raquel. Man, I just, I, I think she's just sleeping or somehow. All right, ask that one to Veronica. Veronica hasn't participated like an, in, in the question. Michelle? Te la digo otra vez. Yes, but in this case to sure. Veronica. Okay. Should you drink coffee in the morning? No, okay, good. Yes, I should. No, okay, cool. So basically, listen up, guys. This is this is a way how you can you know ask and answer questions using just no as a model of answer, right? Can we ask? information questions we use uh, with using you know like you yes we can we can ask those type of questions podemos inclusive eh, preguntar eh, o hacer preguntas en este caso con de manera informativa usando las w's words remember using what what time where when why all right and of course the model of answer will be kind of different all right so this, this was part of what we were discussing last class. Now, let's focus on what we have for right now. Let's start with some questions to discuss related to what we are going to be doing. Now, let me ask you this. Do you send emails every day? In the place that you work, do you generally send emails like most of the time, every day? Carla, for example, let's start with you. Do you generally send emails in your work or not? No, I don't, no. No, you don't? No. Ah, okay, cool. Carlos Mauricio, how about you? Este, yes, I do. Ah, okay, you generally send, send. emails? Okay, that's cool. Emmanuel, how about you? Sorry, uh, yes, I always have to 
check it out my email because no. I had to make some requests in my work oh. in my work. Ah, okay, that's interesting. Hola, Manuel. Michelle, how about you? Sí, teacher. Estresante todos los días. Really? <laughs> sí. Ah, okay. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. Hay todos los días. Ay, wow. Y estrés. Yeah, I can tell. All right. <laughs> Interesting. William and you? Yes, teacher. Every day I send wow. emails Mom. in the morning, in the afternoon. <laughs> so you got to be constantly checking your email. Each hour. Okay. That's because your work is required to do that. Okay. Nice. And Karen, you're going to be the last one to be asked. Do you generally send emails? Yes, workplace? teacher. A lot. Ah, okay, cool. So most of you send emails in the place that you really worked. Okay, good. Now, what do you think about this, guys? Should emails be brief or long? Deberían ser cortos y concisos o deberían ser largos? Should be they should be brief. Mm, okay, good. What about the other? De todos. <laughs> Cortos y largos. De todo. A veces solo de dos palabras, de una, largo, de todo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. So you deal with different types of emails. Okay, interesting. How about the rest? What are the type of emails? Ah, William dijo que sí, enviaba cada hora. What's up, William? How about you? Long, uh, brief. Brief and long. Ah, really? Depending on the situation? Yeah. Dependiendo de la situación? Yeah. Depende de, de la situación. Okay. That's nice. Nice. Karen? If I make a comp if you make a comparison, uh, which type of me message uh, emails are the ones that you send the most? Brief or long? Brief. Brief. Yeah. Ah, okay, cool. So you need you don't need to write that much. Ah, okay. Mm, sometimes yes. Yeah, but, but mostly not, brief. Ah, okay, but not all the time, right? No. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Cool. So that was part of what we are going to be doing. Okay, and it says, can you mention three tips to write an effective email? Por lo general, okay, a, mo a modo de tip. ¿Qué podrían sugerir ustedes al momento de escribir un email? Para los que envían más, like, you know, like emails. Emmanuel, in your case, what could you suggest? Give me only one, because at the time, just give me one, one tip to write an effective email. Should be directly. Now, okay, uh-huh. It should be directly to the person. Yes. Don't be in or Ajá, ajá, I got your point. No, como no darle vueltas al asunto. Go straight to the Correct. point. Ah, okay, go straight to the point. Cool. Thank you. What else, people? Information clear. Ah, clear information. Okay, we're good. Sorry. Tiene que ser bien, bien precisa, right? Very precise. Okay, cool. What else? Vamos a preguntarle, let me see. Ah, me dio, se no fue Michelle. Jesus Christ. What else should, should you use as a tip to write down an effective email, Xiomara? Sí. 
told you, teacher. Hmm? Perdón, no escuché bien. Ok. Uh, ¿Qué otro tip podría usted sugerir para eh, escribir un buen eh, correo? An effective email. Ser directo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Creative. Creative, ok. Um, yes. <laughs> and like that? All right. Directly and creative. Ok. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, and somehow you have to be creative also. All right. Now, let's jump into these things. Check this out. It says in here, tip for writing a formal email. Okay. And it says, look at this. We got generally in an effective email. Okay. We don't use or we do not use all capitals. Okay. Do you know what is capitals? Pues nos referimos a capitals. ¿A qué nos referimos? Mayúscula. Mayúscula. Very, very good. So, let's remember, in a formal email, we don't generally use capitals most of the time, right? En este caso, no usamos todo en, en letras mayúsculas. That's part. Okay. And then it says, avoid using the subject important. Ah, evitar la, la parte del subject donde dice important right okay why because it depends on the type of message uh that you're gonna write down in the email so i think it's like not really necessary to write down as important in the subject okay uh in the next one let me see okay help me read in the next one carlos mauricio help me read in the next one Use a formal salutation. Salutation. Salutations. Yeah, I mean, salutation, in this case, se refiere a saludo. Use a formal salutation. Okay. What would be a formal salutation for your emails, people? Si tuviesen que escribirme un email ustedes, ¿cuál sería el tipo de saludo que ustedes escribieran? De entrada. Good morning, good afternoon. Ah, taking in consideration that it has to be a uh, very formal, right? Okay. Yeah. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Okay, depending on the on the type of the day that you are in at the moment of writing down the email. Okay, very good. There's a formal salutation. And then it says, be brief. Sea conciso, right? Preciso, por así decirlo. Okay, directo al punto. And then you got the next one. Carla, read the next one. Carla. I know, I mean, I say Carla. <laughs> Carla. <laughs> okay. Okay. Express. Clearly. 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 We you are great, great, Why? Right, Why writing. you are writing? Ah, okay. It says express. Listen up clearly. Why you are writing? Expresa, expresar claramente el por qué se está escribiendo. All right. El por qué del, 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 del correo in that case. Right. That's another important uh, point in this case. And then which says. Listen up. If we are writing a formal email, don't use abbreviations. Okay. En un formal email, por lo general, no se usan abreviaciones. All right. If you're doing it in English, si está una forma negativa, okay. Si está una forma negativa como don't, shouldn't, couldn't, no se va a escribir de esa manera. Lo que van a hacer es separarlas, right? Don't, do not. Couldn't, could not. Shouldn't, should not. Let's remember. In a very formal writings, it's not permitted to write down abbreviations, okay? And then we got the last one. Karen, read the last one. 
Do not use smileys. No, right. Do not use smileys. ¿A qué se refiere con eso, Karen? Smileys. Emoticones. Exactly, right. Se refiere a enviar caritas en los, en los emails. Yeah, man, that would be weird. Eso sería súper raro, mandar caritas en los, en los emails. En especial si son formal emails, right? That would be uncomfortable. No veo a William enviando una carita, right? Un guiño. <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> that would be extremely weird. Okay, so those are like, you know, somehow, okay, part of... Okay. A, veces, a veces me toca mandar, pero en el chat que tengo, el grupo. Ah, man, but that's different. That is different. No, pero también en, en chat de Teams, perdón. Ah, uso? really? Really? Yeah. Okay. Eh, para que se despierten, se rían. Ah, yeah, I mean, eso, ja. yeah. Ah, pero ahí ya no es tan, tan, tan no, no, normal no. que se diga. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why. Say, my, say me and my boss. No. That, man, that would be different. <laughs> yeah. That would be completely different. Okay, cool. Let's continue with this. Okay, let's say tips to write a formal email. Let's just start over with this. It says number one. Uh, let me see. Ivania, can you please help me out reading this part? Fill in the subject like with a topic relevant, you have questions and not just document or important. Ah, okay, very good, thank you. It says, listen up, fill in the subject line. ¿A qué se refiere con subject line? ¿A qué creen ustedes que se refiere con eso de subject line? Como el asunto. Exactly. Ahí, ese es el subject line, a donde tiene la parte del asunto. Dice, fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient. Ah, tiene que llenar esa parte ahí, all right, del asunto, con un tema relevante para quien va a recibir el correo, dice. And do not just document or important. Y no solamente escribir, si vamos a enviar un documento, no solo escribir documento o la palabra important, así se es. O no simplemente decir importante. And that's it, right? So that's what it says, okay? Write down a very specific topic. Next. Uh, let me see who can help me out with this. Veronica, help me out reading number two. Veronica, are you there? Okay, so she's not there. Jacqueline, are you there? Jacqueline? Mm, okay, I think she's just not in there too. Okay, Emmanuel, are you there? Yes. Okay, can you please read that part? Include a polite simulation. Dear, Mr. Dear, okay. Miss, okay. good morning, etc. Okay, what do you think is that? Uh, how do you uh, interpret that? The, that the greetings, the greeting, the greeting uh -huh. in the when you are typing an email. Ah, okay, cool. And what should be the greeting if you send an email to your boss? Emmanuel? What will be the greeting? That good morning. Good morning. Uh -huh. uh, Mr. Oh, oh, dear Mr. Could be. 
Ah, okay, cool. All right, that would be cool. There you go, just give me one second. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm just doing some things in here. Give me one second. Okay, so in this case, yeah, I mean, to include a salutation, remember, es básicamente escribir de manera bien formal. Ok, un saludo hacia la persona que se está escribiendo, right? Give me one second. Ok, cool. Now, let's continue with that. Ok, it says number three. Write your main point in the opening sentence. Do you generally do that, guys? Cuando están ustedes escribiendo un formal email, do you generally do that? It says, write your main point in the opening sentence. Por lo general suelen hacer esto ustedes cuando escriben un, un email formal. And I'm asking for the ones who generally do this every day, okay? Every day. Uh, like, for example, uh, let me see. Who told me that it... Okay, with Karen. Karen, after the salutation, what do you generally write when you write emails? For example, the reason. Mm, or okay. the email. Uh -huh. Okay, the reason of the email. There you go. Okay. The reason of the email. Okay. Básicamente ser precisos acá. Okay. Con lo que se quiere dar a conocer. Okay. In the email, right? That's pretty much what we got in, this, in that case. There you go. I don't know if you're taking notes about this. No sé si están tomando notas o están tomando screenshots from this. Doctora. Okay, perfect. Okay, there you go. Now, let's fill up the next one. It says number four, Carlos Josue. Tell me a reading, please. Don't use a capital or a lower case letter. Ah, okay, very good. Let's say, don't use all capitals or all lower case letters. Okay, capitals, you know, it's mayúsculas, right? And all lowercase, it means minúsculas. Yeah, I mean, let's remember that after a dot or after a point, you have to write down, okay, a capital letter, but that's it. And then the rest of letters have to go in lowercase, okay? Just, you know, like, like to be very formal with this, with this type of things. Then we get the next one. Avoid abbreviations. That was part of what we were doing, right? Eso es parte de lo que estábamos mencionando anteriormente. Avoid abbreviations. Que en lo más que se pueda, in very formal emails, tenemos que evitar las contractions. Okay? That's what it is. Abreviaciones, contractions, and everything. For example, in that case, tenemos la abreviación de PLZ. Please, all right? Uh, there are a lot of people that do that, but let's remember, in very formal emails, we don't generally do that. Nice. Let's keep going. Next, look at this. Be polite. Remember to write please and thank you, okay? Generally, when we are, we are asking for a favor, all right, through an email or we are request, requesting something, we generally have to say please and at the end say thank you, all right? It might be for the information that we're sending or something else. And number seven, let me see who can help me out with that. Okay, got a lot of things. Carlos Mauricio, help me out, Carlos. Be, be brief. Be brief. Right. 
okay. brief in your messages is to long consider using an attachment. Attachment. Ah, attachment. Okay. okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Let's say be brief. In este caso, it's like ser conciso, right? Preciso, uh, you know, like, like that. And it says, if your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Si su mensaje es demasiado largo, considere usar un archivo adjunto. Okay, that's an attachment. Cuando básicamente subimos un documento, ya sea de Word or something else, right? So in that case, you don't have to be like writing down all the time the email. Entonces así, el email por lo general, okay, no se extendería demasiado, por así decirlo. Okay, that's pretty much what it talks about. Okay, then the next one, number eight. Let me see. This thing helped me out with this. I got Xiomara, help me out, please. Use a closing phrase like the best verbs, triggers, looking forward to your comments. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. Use a closing phrase like best regards, regards, looking forward to your comments. So what is, what is this? Básicamente esto es como eh, para finalizar el mensaje. Ok. Regards es básicamente como saludos. Ok. Best regards como los mejores deseos. Uh, looking forward to your comments. Es como, ah, espero con ansia sus, eh, eh, sus comentarios sobre algo. Ok. So this is like, you know, like just to close up the whole text. Esto es básicamente como para dar un closing, ya eh, un cierre a lo que nosotros estamos colocando ya en el eh, correo, por así decirlo. All right, so this is pretty much what we got in here. Okay, cool. Uh, right it to now, people. Any question? Bien, hasta acá. ¿Tenemos alguna duda con respecto a estas partes que hemos estado viendo de los... ¿Cómo escribir un formal email? Any comment? ¿Algún comentario? Look for, looking forward, you said that when you are waiting uh, the answer, the email, yes? Exactly, uh, waiting anxiously. Look, looking forward, en este caso es como look forward to. De hecho, es una, es una expresión así, de un solo look forward to. Es como esperar con ansias algo. Give me one second. Are there are a lot of students that are not in here. Okay, good. Let's move on, people. Sorry about that. So I think we've got another one here. So before we go into the main practice, number nine. So check this out. In number nine, what do we got here? Uh, Emmanuel, help me out reading, please. At a sign to Brad with appropriate contact information. Your name, business address. Ah, okay, very good. So in that case, what it means? Ah, in this one, address and phone number. What is this? Let's remember, if we are representing a company, the least that we can do is to have a signature block. Al final del correo, por lo general, all right, cuando estamos trabajando para una empresa, y por lo general, sí, este, tendríamos que tener ya una signature, por lo menos, right, para identificarnos quiénes somos y a qué, digamos, empresa pertenecemos y en qué departamento eh, están, por así decirlo, right? What does include in that case? Your name, business address, right? 
and your phone number. Y pues también va incluido su número de teléfono también. All right? So in that case, is, is, that's part of what we generally put into uh, the formal email. All right? So en básicamente ya con esto, damos por concluido a uh, eh, las pasos, ¿ok? Los tips en este caso de cómo escribir un email formal, all right? Email form, a formal email, as you want to mention. Okay, good. Let's continue, people. Let's continue. Like with this, uh, we're gonna put aside the, 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 you know, like the PDF and the presentation. And then we're gonna continue with the manual. Give me one second. It says, edit and proofread before you send the, the message. This is, this is like not really necessary. Cuando ya hemos, eh, digamos, like, you know, like escrito todo, por lo general hay muchos que suelen hacer esto. Que es proofread, y que es básicamente edit. Básicamente es leer todo lo que he escrito y simplemente revisar si hay algún tipo de error gramatical, por así decirlo, decirlo, o error de dedo, como nosotros decimos, right? que hay alguna palabra que vaya mal escrita o something else, y ahí pues simplemente se hace la corrección necesaria. Aunque mmm, creo que en su caso sería, no, no sé si lo hacen. William, in your case, do you do that? ¿Suele hacerlo? Yes. When it's very, yeah. very important, the email, you, you do it. Always. All the time. Okay, that's pretty yeah. cool. Nice. Karen, how about you? Do you generally proofread and edit? Would you send? Yes, teacher. I sometimes forget the attachment. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. yeah that's, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, that's, that, that's why it's, it's, it's important sometimes, right? And yeah. When you have finished everything, it's important to check if you have everything correct. And then you just press send. See, I mean, I, I, I do that since I, I have an experience like that. Desde que me pasó una experiencia, medio, 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 sí, igual, yo suelo hacerlo. Se supone que tenía que enviar un attachment para un día específico. You know what? Y solo le envié la información and everything, but I forgot the attachment. So, tres días después me cae un correo así como que, y el attachment que se supone que tenía que cambiar hace tres días y yo, pero ya lo envié. Uh, y, y, and I checked the email y simplemente tenía la información en everything, saludos, y haciendo constar que lo enviaba, pero no estaba junto. And that was funny. So, desde entonces, no se me olvide esa parte de proofread. Uh, siempre pasa lo mismo, te dicho. <risa> siempre hay una <risa> primera vez para que ya no vuelva a suceder. <risa> exactly. Para todo siempre hay una primera vez. That's, that's true. That's true. All right, como dicen de los errores, se aprende. <laughs> that was part of it, part of the process. Okay, cool. Now, let me see. I'm going to stop in here with the presentation. Basicamente, it, it, that's, that was part of what we uh, wanted to know related to the email tips and everything. Ahora sí, nos vamos a ir a trabajar entonces al manual. All right, in the manual, in there, we got a lot of things to do related to this topic. Just give me one second. I'm going to put it in here. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to put this. Okay. We're going to go to page 33. Vamos a ir a la página 33. Okay, in there we're gonna find what we got in here. Uh, but right now, uh, before doing that, pero antes de hacerlo, voy a pasar asistencia because it's 904. Give me one second. Uh, Andres Joel. Andres, are you there? No, okay, Carlos Mauricio. Present. Okay, perfect. Uh, Cindy Melanie. Ah, oh, she's just pressing in there. She's there. 
Uh, let me see, Stephanie Michel. Okay, Michelle, she, she couldn't get connected, maybe. Let me see. Ivania Yamilet. Okay, so she's not there. Michelle. Yes. Eh, Michelle, creo que me escribió, dice, como es compañera mía, Ajá. está diciendo que tiene problemas este, para conectarse, la está sacando, dice. Ah, Ahí escribió sí. también el grupo. Sí, así he estado viendo. Sí, estoy viendo que la está sacando cada rato. Ah, internet, como siempre a veces. Ok, cool. But anyways, let's continue. Uh, Joana Saray. I am and she's there. Cool. Jorge Alberto. All right, not here. Jose Elgar. Ah, okay, cool. Let me see, Juan Emanuel. Emanuel, are you there, Emanuel? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Yes, yes, thank you. Nice, man. Nice. Okay, Michelle, ya la noté aquí. Julio Cesar, okay, he's not here. Karen Beatriz. Present. No, okay, very good. Carla Lisette. Present. Okay, nice. Raquel Stephanie. Okay, I think she went to sleep. Veronica Arely. Present. Okay, very good. Let's move Wendy Jamilet. Right, she's not here. Let's move William Ernesto. Present, teacher. Okay, there you go. And the last one, Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Nice. Let me see the listeners. Carlos Josue. Mm, okay, Carlos. And the last one, Reinaldo Chavez. Okay, which is not here. Okay, yeah, I mean, I got full this, this things from. Okay, so messages. All right, now let's jump into the PDF that we're going to be working on and the part, uh, the page 33. This is the one we're going to be uh, working on, page 33. This is part of what we were doing at the beginning. We were asking this series of questions. We were using this, okay. And listen up. We're gonna practice this short, short, super short conversation. Okay, check this out. What it says in here? It says, practice this conversation with a partner. Says, Take turns talking about the tips you checked in exercise two. It says, listen, this is a short conversation between Amanda and Luis. It says, do you often send emails? Do you often send emails? It says, Luis, yes, I do. Yes, I do. And then it says, Amanda, is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? Listen, is it appropriate? This word is appropriate. Remember, listen, is it? appropriate to use all right to use abbreviations abbreviations in business emails in business emails it says Luis no it is not professional no it is not professional and then it says, Amanda, I see. I see. Do you share more tips to write effective emails? Listen up, slow. Could you share? Could you share 
more tips, more tips to write, to write effective emails, effective emails, and then it says, Luis, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, so this short conversation in here. Do we understand all the words that appears in here? ¿Comprendemos todo el vocabulario de esta pequeña conversación? ¿O hay algo que tenemos eh, dudas, ya sea en pronunciación o something like that? ¿Es everything okay, people? Yo la pronunciación de appropriate. Ok, eh, listen up, appropriate. Ok. Yeah, appropriate. All right. Any other word? ¿Alguna otra palabra que tengamos dudas? No? Y el de abbreviation? Ab abbreviation. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> abbreviation. <laughs> what happened, Carla? <laughs> es que me cuesta pronunciarlo, teacher. Lo siento. Ah, ok. <laughs> Listen. Abbreviation. Abbreviation. There you go. Ahí está. Okay. Yeah, very good. Cool. Supongo que William eso mismo iba a preguntar. <laughs> okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. All right. That's cool. Man. That's cool. So you got you got your 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 doubt solved. All right. Let me see. In in order to practice this short conversation, para practicar esta conversación un tanto corta, me gustaría saber. ¿Quiénes somos los que verdaderamente estamos para poderlo practicar? Porque sí, he estado preguntando algunos y no sé si están, si están ahí, si están dormidos o whatever. Let me see. Ah, I mean, Carlos is here. <laughs> Ivani, are you there too? I mean, Cindy's working. Emanuel, are you there? Yes. Nice, man. Andrés, are you there? You know, like to practice this short conversation. Andres? Mm, I guess he's not there. Jacqueline, are you there? You know, like just to practice this short conversation. No sé si dijo sí, si dijo no. Solo vi que, que se, 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 se activó el micrófono. Uh, pero supongamos que sí. Verónica, ayude. Aquí estoy. Ah, ya, men, así como gaja. Ah, ya, aquí estoy. Ok, cool. Ivania, ah, ya, men, Ivania es there, right? Uh, the only one that are not going to be participating is going to be Joanna, Raquel, uh, 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 Andres, and Cindy, because it's working. Ah, no. Elgar. Jesus Christ, a lot of people. Michelle sigue teniendo problema, teacher. Ah, yeah, man, it's true. Yeah, ya se volvió a ir. Sí, ahí está, me estaba diciendo. <laughs> Ay, pobre Michelle. But anyways. Vamos a ver, nomás regreso y la vamos a incluir en, un, en una parte ahí. Ok. Now, I'm going to create the short groups. Vamos a, uh, vamos a hacer esto y de manera sencilla, de manera corta. Vamos a utilizar un qué. Diez minutos cuando máximo, porque luego vamos a volver de nuevo a los breakout rooms, porque vamos a hacer la actividad de escribir un formal email, right? And I'm going to give you the indications how we'll be doing that. Give me one second. I'm gonna create the breakout rooms. Many people are with right now. Jesus Christ, 16. Okay, I'm gonna find them manually. In room one, it's gonna be this person, this one. And the, this one. All right, just give me one second. I'm just creating uh, these things. 
So that way uh, we're gonna be practicing with the right people. Michelle, are you there? Sí, ya pude conectarme. Ah, perfect, perfect. So I got you in, into the list. Okay, let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to practicing here, people. In five minutes, we're back. En cinco minutos estamos de regreso, okay? Let's go. Okay, for the ones who are in there, let's get connected to the breakout rooms. So let's go to practice. At least the part that we got in there. Xiomara, get connected, please. Yes. Le apareció para poderse conectar al breakout room? Sí. Ah, perfecto, entonces. Le espero. Hello, teacher. What's up, people? Uh, yep. Wait, wait. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate? Appropriate? To use abbreviation in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share, share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay. Ahora podemos cambiar, ¿verdad? Yo, yo empiezo ahora. Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective email? Yeah, sure. Very good. Uh, listen up, people. Uh, I brought Carlos uh, Mauricio uh, here because eh, al parecer estaba solo y no sé por qué se desconectó la compañera con la que iba a participar él. So I brought you here, Carlos. So yeah. work your three, okay? Practice your three. Okay. Okay. Okay, nice, perfect. Appropriate. 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 Yes, appropriate. Appropriate. Listen up. Appropriate. <laughs> appropriate. Yes. Y la que sigue en la misma frase es la diamante. Uh, abbreviations? To use abbreviations? ¿A, a eso se refiere? Sí. Ah, ok. That's abbreviations. Ah. Yes, boosting. Business. Business. Yes, business. That is business. There you go.
Y en la siguiente que donde dice y de Amanda, la, la tercera. Ajá. ¿Cuál? Donde dice is it your Let me see. Could you share your ah, uh, is it Full. Uh, eh, eh, dice en la última, ¿verdad, de Amanda? Sí, en la... Dice, I see. Uh -huh, I see. Could, could you share more tips to write effective emails? Could you share? Right. Es como, ¿podrías compartir más tips uh, okay, para uh -huh. escribir un efectivo, uh, un email efectivo, un buen email. Ok. Everything okay with that? Okay. Perfect. Let's go. Emails. Vaya. Entonces, hoy voy a comenzar para que lo escuche y ahí lo hace de nuevo usted. Ok. Vaya. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in the in business emails. No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Vaya, hoy empieza. Vamos. Oh, okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to, to use abbreviation mm -hmm. in business emails? No, it's not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write? Effective emails. Yeah, sure. Vaya, ahora qué palabra se sintió que se quedó. <laughs> El abbreviation. No, pero ahí está bien. Abbreviation. Vaya, ya, ya, ya lo, ya lo están, ya, ya, ya se está pronunciando mejor. Abbreviation. Abbreviation. Uh -huh. Appropriate. Abbreviation. Appropriate. Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Cuál otra? Share. Ajá, share. Share more tips to tips. write. Write. Mm -hmm. Effective emails. Eff effective emails. Ok. Vaya. En, empiezo de nuevo. Va. Así, así estoy yo. Ready? You're ready. Ah, ok, cool. Let's go then to the main station. Vámonos entonces. Ok. okay. All right, perfect. Let's just start over with uh, the short practice that we're going to have with that conversation. I got it in here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for you guys. Give me one second if I can put it like. Oh, man. I just want to make it a little bit. Okay, I am in like this. Okay, cool. Let's just start over. I'm going to start with uh, uh, the first group I had, Veronica, Carlos Mauricio, and Carlos Josue. Let's just okay, start over. Okay. As you practice, let's do it right now. Si gusta que se cerran. 
Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Here we go. What's the way now? Who's, who's going to be practiced with who's? Uh, with Carlos Gamero. Ah, okay, cool. Let's go. Eh, sería, eh, conmigo o con ah, no, por eso les dije que practiquen como lo, lo habían practicado, no sé cómo lo habían hecho. Sí, o sea, entonces ahorita sí es con ellos. Ok, listen up. Let me see. I'm gonna do, do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in, best, in business emails? No, is it not professional? I see. Could you share could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Now do it with Carlos, both Carlos. Okay. Do you off? Uh, well <laughs> uh, no, in that case uh, it's gonna be Josue. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use a relation in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yes, yeah, sure. Ah, okay, perfect. So that's the way. Thank you to you three people. So you did it excellent. Okay. Now uh, let's move on. Let me see. Siomara, who are you practicing with? Jacqueline. No recuerdo el nombre de la otra compañera. Me. Ah, Karen. Karen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Now, Siomara, let's do it with Karen. Then Karen will practice with Jacqueline. And then Jacqueline is going to finish with you, okay? So that way we're going to create the circle. Let's go. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails. No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Perfect. Now, Miss, let's go with Jacqueline. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh -huh. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business email? No, it is no probation. Profession. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective email? Yes, sure. Now, okay, cool. Thank you, Karen. Now, Jacqueline, let's finish up with Xiomara. Let's start, Jacqueline. Do you see it say email? Yes, I do. It is probably to use a version is views email. In business email? No, it's not professional. It's cool. I see. I see. I can't okay. Realize. okay, okay. I will help you up. Could you share? Could you share more tips? More tips to write. To write effective emails. Effective email. Okay, there we yeah, go. Yeah, sure. There you go. So thank you, Xiomara, Jacqueline, and Karen. Now, Carla. Let's go, Carla. Okay. With William, right? Yeah. Yes. Let's go. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it's not professional. 
I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, yeah, sure. <laughs> Look at Carla's face is like, okay. <laughs> There you go. Now, Emmanuel, who were you practicing with? Conmigo. I am in with, uh, only with you? Juana. Ah, ahí okay. estaba Michelle también, ¿verdad? Pero es que Michelle tuvo problemas. I am in. I am in Michelle is, is having problems. Así la veo caminar de un lado a otro. I am in poor Michelle. Y se le desconecta otra vez. Hi, Michelle. Are you there? No, nah, man, she got disconnected. Okay, cool. Let's continue, guys. Do you often see email? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use the abbreviation in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more time more tips to write effective email yeah sure okay okay very good thank you uh joanna and uh, emmanuel you did it excellent so i think that's pretty much what we got in here right because most of you have already participated now let's jump into the main things that we're gonna be uh doing besides that part give me one second i'm gonna make this shorter And let's go down. Let's go down right, right over here. Listen up. We are not going to stop in here because this is what I had in the presentation. Okay. Eh, no nos vamos a detener en esto porque es básicamente lo que, le, lo que les puse en la presentación. Right. This is pretty much uh, the steps or the tips to write down an effective email. Si ven acá, we got uh, two different email things. Acá tenemos dos, dos, dos layouts, por así decirlo, de emails, en la cual tienen información. Listen up. El primero dice to. Por lo general, to es donde escribimos el destinatario, right? Hacia dónde va el, el email, all right? In this case, it says peter at dot com. Recuerden, el arroba se dice at, okay, at in English. Y luego el punto com es dot com. Remember that. Dot com. C Z. What is that, William? The... Es como una copia oculta. Ah, can be possible. Can be possible. Eh, ¿Le ha usted enviado un mensaje a su jefe y luego ha agregado a más personas que también les caiga ese mensaje? Eh, I mean, el yeah. correo. So, that yeah. CZ es como agregar nuevos destinatarios, right? So, básicamente, tiene quien le va a caer el mensaje directamente, pero luego va como, como otras oculto, personas. De, correcto. Exactly, the ones that uh, are going to get besides the bus. And then we got the yeah. subject. Y here the subject es lo que generalmente en español conocemos como asunto, right? In here, that's the subject part. Y luego acá tenemos una pequeña información que dice, uh, let me see, alguien que me ayude, Verónica, vamos a ponerle a Verónica. Remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Please don't forget the thing. Okay, and then he says, see you. Y luego tiene como el saludo, see you. Shame nos vemos, por así decirlo. Cool. According to the reading, guys, este es un formal or informal email? Informal, teacher. Ah, okay. I mean, this is an informal one, right? Para comenzar, tenemos abbreviations en, la, en esta parte acá. Y tenemos constructions in here, all right? Aparte de eso, subject, tenemos simplemente Saturdays and that's it. Cool. On the other hand, if you take a look at this, layout is pretty different, okay? In the subject, we got tomorrow's meeting, uh, la reunión de mañana. 
And then it says, Robert, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with IT. Okay. Don't forget the documents. Okay. La case. Acá uh, tendría que ir separado. No sé por qué lo, ponía, lo pusieron así. Tendría que ser, do not forget the documents. All right. Pero supongamos que ahí está así. Do not forget the documents. So that one, that one is categorized as formal. Why? Because in the whole reading here, you don't generally see contractions. Okay? Remember. And here will be Michael. do not. Do not. Uh-huh. Aunque el subject, donde dice tomorrow esté contratado. Even though in there it is contracted. Yeah. Is correct? Yeah, I mean, it's correct. Okay. Tomorrow's meeting. Es que por lo general ahí, si vamos a decir la reunión de mañana, eh, I mean, it, it's, it's not really common to say the meeting of tomorrow. Digamos que como que no es muy usado eso de like the meeting of tomorrow. All right? This is tomorrow's meeting, like reunión de mañana. All right? That's why we got that part contracted. Okay. So those two are just some, some sort of layout. Now, we got a short term in that case. It says, you're torn. Check that out. Write a professional email to coworker, to a coworker. Listen up. Confirm that you need to meet with her or him tomorrow. Okay. And it says, apply the suggestions from exercise five. And then it says, send your email to a partner and copy to your facilitator. Reply the emails you receive from your classmates. What are we going to be doing in here? Listen up. Como estamos básicamente trabajando en parejas, listen up. Si William está trabajando con Carla, William va a preparar un short email, okay, pero formal, formal email, en la cual vamos a tener como base esta parte de acá. Dice, confirm that you need to meet him or her Tomorrow. Simplemente es un mensaje, ok, un, un, un email para confirmar, listen up, para confirmar que el día de mañana tienen una reunión, ok, y que se tienen que ver, ya sea para tratar temas de la empresa o whatever, ustedes ahí le van a incluir algo, ok, en la parte del body paragraph. En este caso, William le va a hacer uno a Carla, all right. Y Carla le va a hacer uno a William. No tiene que ser tan largo. Como este está bien, all right? That, that, that one is okay. Así, corto, conciso. Y tiene que ser formal. And it has to be formal, okay? It has to be formal. That's what we're going to do. So, vamos a hacer el layout. Si gustan, pueden tomar una screenshot, por lo menos en esta zona, miren. Acá. Acá. Para poner, por ejemplo, el two. Give me one second what I did. Por ejemplo, de poner el to, ¿ok? Y acá, pues, o ponen el correo, el, el correo de, la, de la persona. What happened here? Give me one second, people. I don't know what I did. Ok. In here, pueden ponerle to y acá el email de la persona y luego el subject. Y, y acá, pues, le ponen el subject dependiendo de cómo ustedes lo vean. Así lo van a poner ahí. Y luego acá el body paragraph, ¿ok? Y abajo le pueden poner así como un, como un pequeño saludo de despedida, por así decirlo, ¿ok? Solo que no contractado, remember, not contracted. Así de esa manera lo pueden, lo pueden, pueden hacer el layout para el pequeño email que van a hacer, ¿ok? And now, remember, este es el tema central. Confirm that you need to meet with him or her tomorrow okay tomorrow cool any question about what you're going to do alguna pregunta sobre lo que vamos a hacer okay cool if you have it everything clear let's go let's go to practice give me one second i'm gonna stop sharing it here and i'm gonna make the same group as, as we got before and let's go to work i don't have the you don't have what the co-worker are ready the meeting. 
a, ya lo voy a posicionar en otro, no se preocupe, entre, por favor. Ahí lo voy a mandar a otro grupo, no problem. Ok. okay. This is number four. Y ahí es que el subject sucedió en mi caso report a issue. En mi caso es que puse billboard Querido jefe, I just to report an issue with the old system. I just have, uh, I just have required, uh, uh, I'm wondering if you send me a technician to fix the issue. Uh, I appreciate your help, Carlos Sáenz. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes. All right. I mean, I, uh, you were I thought you were reading for them, <laughs> not only for me. Yeah, I man, it's okay. Okay. No sé si vamos a hacer. Bueno, eso es lo mío. Creo que tenemos que hacer uno, uno cada uno, ¿verdad? Exactly. Okay, okay entonces. Okay. Bueno, voy a hacer el mío porque no soy tan veloz como Carlos. <laughs> Okay. Perfect. I'll I'll be right back in a moment with you guys. Hello, ladies. Everything okay in here? Hello, teacher. Hi. How do you go here? ¿Cómo vamos? Bien. Entiendo que cada una debía uh, hacer un correo, ¿verdad? That's correct. Okay. Okay. Here. Pero no, no, no comprendí. Dice, confirm that you need... Yeah, simplemente es, es un correo para avisarle a usted, por ejemplo, si va dirigido a Karen, para confirmarle a Karen y, y mencionarle que mañana tienen una reunión, que mañana se tiene que ver para tratar cualquier tema relacionado a la empresa o algo por el estilo. Pero no es, por, no es que necesitamos algo, porque dice, confirm that you need to meet. No, ahí, dice, ahí simplemente dice que confirme que necesita verla mañana. That's what it says. Eso es lo que dice ahí. Ok. Hello. Why are you? Tengo una duda. Ajá, me, me. Este va a ser así un correo diferente cada uno de nosotros. Yes, yo creo que ya la habían terminado. No. <ríe> ok. Joana dice que ya tiene el de ella. Ah, no. Dice que estará escuchando. Ok, Joana, no problema. Ah, ok. Vaya, esa era mi duda. Ok. 
give me one second. Who says that? I need this to stop. Okay, let's go, let's go, people, let's go. Todavía no, pero ese bitch. <laughs> Not yet? <laughs> oh my, Carla, man, you're going slow, Carla, you're going slow. Bueno, yo, yo tengo más o menos, pero no sé si está bien. <laughs> okay, read it, read it. I want to listen to you. Vaya, había hecho el ejemplo así, digamos, tú, bueno, había puesto tú, Carla arroba gmail punto com, el subject, uh -huh. Sam's reports. Uh -huh. Y ahí le puse, good morning, Carla, I need you to prepare Sam's report in the afternoon. Please, thank you. Ok, please, thank you. <risa> pues, por favor, precise. para decirle formal, por favor, porque... Yeah, I mean, that's true, that's true, that's precise. Ok, cool. No es aceptable. Thank you, William. Let me see. Carla, ¿cómo vamos? Todavía no he terminado. Así como, así como él dice. Todavía no he terminado. No me presione. No me presione, Tichi. Ok, cool. Emanuel, how about you, man? Ah, you're writing it? Ok, cool. Pero en este caso, Ticha, le voy a mandar una, un, un correo, digamos, dirigido a las dos. Good morning, Carla. Ah, no, porque ahí estoy, estoy especificando a alguien. No, porque iba a, decir, iba a dirigirlo a los dos, pero... No, pero en este caso es ok. Es directamente a Carla, ¿no? Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. so... No problem. Carla. No, no, pensé, todavía no. Si quiere, puede ir a otro grupo, Tichi. Para mientras. Ah, ok, ya me. Ya me no, para mientras, ya, Tichi, para mientras. Ya me corrió, Carla. Ya no, no, para ya no mientras. Vuelvo. Es que no, no. me siento la Adiós. presión aquí, ve. Bye, Carla. I need have a minute. With you about the people the next purchase of materials, the office, algo así. Okay. Mm. Ya estamos ready, dice. Ready? Nah, yeah. Just give me one second. Hay un grupo que todavía, todavía están. Este, ah, no, me he's gonna be as a listener. Él está como oyente. I, I think he's working yet. That's why. So that's why I'm not. Hola. Por aquí me está caliente, caliente. Eh, fíjese que en realidad no tanto. No that much. Ahorita según aquí esto está poco. a ver. Según esto está a 27 grados ahorita. Uh -huh. Está relativamente bien. Ya me dijo. Aquí no hace corte. ¿Ah? Horrible aquí el, el calor, le, no aguanto. Me creo que está cerrado, por eso. Ya, yeah, miren, en the, the bad thing is that we don't have any eh, possibility of rain. Ah, no parece. No hay posibilidades de lluvia. That's, 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 that's the worst thing. Ya, yeah, a ver qué tal más adelante, tal vez. Bueno. 
Yeah, I man, it's like like horrible, you know, somehow. Ah, but let's see what's up. Give me one second. I need to check if they have already finished because we need to move on with this. You finished? No, man, I'm about to finish. <laughs> Carla tiene una duda nada más que en lo que ella hace, como ella es de cobro, ¿verdad? De recuperar, de recuperación. En inglés, ¿cómo lo puede, cómo lo pueden decir? Ah, pay me the money that you owe me. Pay me the money that you owe me. Pay me. No, pay me the money. No, man, give me back the money that you owe me. Dame de regreso el dinero que me debes. No. Look at Carla. No, Carla. Págame ya. What do you want to write? Uy. Mire qué cosas. Yo Next. doy los créditos y ella los cobra. Fine. Usted es el que pone la cara bien feliz y el que pone la cara así como toda. Págueme. Págueme, págueme. Págueme. Pay me, pay me. Por favor. Ya. O le quito el carro. <ríe> no, Sin embargo, apúrese. Híjole. No, ahorita yo la voy a embargar porque no me ha terminado. Ah, pues no, ya no. Ok, no, what, what, what are you missing? ¿Qué le falta a usted, Carla? Es que lo tengo como remember the meeting is the it, is this day to share como decir, recordar la reunión de este día para compartir y ahí fue donde yo quería poner eh, recuperación pero no sé cómo, cómo se escribe recuperación pero, pero, en inglés. Re, pero recuperación de dinero. Yes. Ok, to share. Share es la última palabra que tiene. Sí, share. To share the recovery of the loan. Del préstamo. Oh, no, Carla, y ahí no pudiera decir también así como de cuántos clientes pudieron recuperar. Ah, ok. Porque como me imagino que ustedes le hablan a los clientes, a los, uh -huh. a los que están de cobro, ¿verdad? Entonces yes. pueden decir, la reunión de este día es cuántos clientes pudieron, lograron recuperar. Ok. ¿Cuántos son? No, es que eso es lo que va, de eso se va a hablar la reunión, para hablar de cuántos clientes se... ¿O cuánta recuperación de clientes subieron en el, en el día? Bien, el supervisor de cobra se acaba de escuchar. Eso. Exactly, man, eh, exactly. Eh, eh, si quieren, ahí me dicen. ¿Qué te da, Carla? <risa> Carla, sería entonces ¿Ah? así, mire. To share the recovery of the loan from some clients. ¿Y para si el recovery? También me cobrarme. <risa> The recovery of the loan. Ed, espéreme. The recovery the of loan. the loan. Uh -huh. From clients. From some clients. De algunos clientes. Como dicen, yeah. que van a hablar sobre cuántos clientes. Ahí simplemente decir some clients. Algunos clientes. Some clients. Yeah. Some clients. The yes. recovery of the loan. From some clients. Client. Ajá, y al final le puede poner usted como best regards. No, y ahí, y ahí, y ahí como me imagino que va, bueno, ahí es porque no, no nos queremos extender, ¿no? porque va a decir, ahí voy a clasificarlo si son eh, more than 20 day, 60 day, 90 day. Sí, Ya. Nada más. Joana, si es de claro. Oh. No se preocupe, la voy a buscar, oiga, para cobrar. Sí, les debo. <ríe> ya la voy a buscar. Pues. Gracias ah, claro, por decirme. Man. Claro. Sí, de claro, cobro. Yo también. Ah, usted, usted cobra de claro. Sí. Yo, ta yo también, ah, yeah. les, yo también, pero yo ni les contesto. <ríe> vale. Es que mire, me dijeron que me regalaban un mes, ¿ok? Y ya luego, cuando yo corté el servicio, me dijeron, tiene que pagarlo. Bueno, ¿y cómo es que me lo regalaban? Es que nada, al final se tiene que pagar. Ok, no lo pago. 
Es que fíjese que nah, man, eso es... sí me he cruzado con varios clientes así. Yes, pero no, like lo that. que sucede de que las personas que hacen la venta dan esa mala información y, por y eso no es, que es así lo, y por eso es que los clientes no pagan porque por eso yo le dijera escuche, es. yo dijera escucha la llamada la llamada está siendo grabada es correcto <risa> es correcto pero cuando uno bueno yo mi experiencia cuando uno le, le sale así, está bien, me mira la defensoría, son unos ladrones semejantes no, tampoco, y, y empieza tampoco, la palabra. No, así y así como que vaya, perfecto, vaya, no hay ningún problema, pero pase a pagar primero. No, ahí, ahí, ahí hay que tener no, técnica porque, eh, como dice el teacher, a mí me hablan, mire, ¿y usted por qué no ha pagado? Ay, Dios, uno Exacto. se molesta y dice, no, nah, ¿para qué le va a pagar? Y más que me están... Entonces, Exacto. como que, mire, de qué forma le podemos ayudar, le vamos a dar una solución, mire, pague así, y después puede volver a pagar una parte, y tal vez como que se... Exacto. A veces, tan, a veces, tan, a veces el tono de la voz ayuda. Exacto. Es correcto. Exacto. Así es, pero ya que uno le sale bien dulce, bien cariñosa, y hablando con el cliente, pero que le salgan con patada al pecho, y también no, ¿no? No, que a, nadie, a nadie le va a gustar que le cobren. Exacto. Sí, <risa> correcto. Va, pero sí. le voy a ayudar a ustedes. Va, le voy a ofrecer un descuento pa, para que paguen. <risa> eh, eh, vámonos ya, ok. Close, close on the room. Bye bye. See you there. <risa> All right, that's cool, that's cool. So we're back in here. Uh, aquí ya no me van a cobrar. Ok, cool. Te salió, salió, salió huyendo, ya vi. Ya, yeah, men, aquí no me van a cobrar. El descuento, aprovecha el descuento. <risa> no, nah, men, treque, treque. Un 10 por el, un 10 por el, el no pago. <risa> ok, cool. Let's just start over in here. Carlos, uh, Josué, I want to listen your your email, buddy. What did you write down? Oh, and who did you write the email to? Okay, teacher. Uh, to Carlos Gamero. Okay. And uh, Katie with Veronica Lee. Okay. Uh, subject, we uh, report an uh, issue. Uh, the body. Dear boss, I just to report an issue with the old system. Mm -hmm. I just uh, I have uh, I just have required, and I, I wondering if you send me a technician to fix the issue. Uh, I appreciate your your help, Carlos Carlos. Perfect, Mister. Very good. Thank you for that. Uh, now, Carlos Mauricio, can you please read what you got from the email that you sent? Okay, to Veronica at gmail.com. Okay, very good. CC Carlos Chavez. Mm -hmm. Subject and report. Good morning, Veronica and Carlos. Remember, send report to work for today, please. Thank you. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. Now, Veronica. Um, to Carlos, sí, sí, el otro Carlos. <laughs> Subject tomorrow's meeting and good afternoon, Carlos Chavez and Carlos Camero. Remember solo that faltó tomorrow... que, solo faltó que con Carlos nos pusieron también. Solo man, faltó que se reunieran con Carla. Man, I love, I love the way how Veronica says el otro Carlos. That was funny. Okay. Continue, Veronica. Um, remember that tomorrow I need to have a meeting with you about the next purchase of materials in the office. I await your confirmation. Ah, okay, very good. I will wait for your confirmation. Very good, Veronica. Thank you. Now, Carla, let's read yours. Aquí voy. 
Okay. Hoy es el momento que le cobre. Hoy es el momento. El descuento. Todavía el descuento aplica. Ah, también digo. A final del mes. Final del mes. Se a lo puedo después, dejar. A final del de módulo. Después de eso. A final del módulo lo podemos hacer. No uh, ok. A final después de eso de hay otro descuento, hacer. teacher. Ah, ya, no, no. A final de módulo podemos hablar. ¿eh? Si lo pasa o no. Ok. Piénselo, ok, piénselo. Y me dice. Va. Ok, let's go. Ok. Remember the meeting is this day to share the recovery the loan for su client. Mm -hmm. Su client. Ok, for some clients. Ok, clients. very good. There you go. William, how about yours? Ok. Eh, bueno, two. Carla arroba gmail .com, subject Sam's report. Good morning, Carla. I need you to uh, I need you to prepare send reports in the afternoon, please. Thank you, attender William Tobar. Very good. Thank you, William. Emmanuel, you were with them. That's the one that you got me, sir. Emanuel, are you there? Sorry, uh, was mute the microphone. <laughs> ah, okay. <clears throat> Do you have the email? Okay. Good morning, team. Okay. Here. To William Tobar. CC Carla Orellana. Okay. Started business party. Good morning, team. It is a pleasure to invite you uh, at the party instead of the job that you did in the last month. We had good results and thank you for your time dedicated. Best regards, team. Ah, okay. Best regards. There you go. Very good. Thank you, Manuel. Now, let's see, who's going to be the next one? Uh, Xiomara. Let's go, Xiomara. To Karen Morataya. Confirmation. Remember, we have a meeting tomorrow. Please don't forget the important points that we need to talk. Thank you. Ah, okay, very good. Karen. Is it yours? Okay. To Xiomara at uh, gmail.com. Okay. Object tomorrow's meeting. Dear Xiomara, remember that tomorrow we are having a presentation event. I need to meet with you at 9 a.m. to check the picture and check the guest list. Thanks, uh -huh. Karen. Excellent, Karen. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see who else was working with them. Let me see, Joanna was just as a listener, seeing this working. Let's say Edgar was not participating, Raquel is sleeping, and Andres, I don't know what happened to Andres. Okay, people, listen up. So we have ended up with that part. Let's remember, at the moment of writing a formal email, we have to take in consideration those tips that we got in there, right? Entonces, al momento de escribir, ya sea un formal or kind of informal email, Por lo general, tenemos que seguir esa sequence of steps, right? In English, of course. Porque en español ustedes sí son, son experts on that, ya que la mayoría de ustedes casi todos los días pues tienen que estar mandando emails y todo, right? Y algunas personas llamando, ¿verdad? Por ahí, Carla, no voy a mencionar nombre. Digo, ok, let's continue. Uh, in this case, that's going to be everything for today. All right, uh, and tomorrow we're gonna jump into another interesting topic, people. Listen, listen up. Let's remember, on Wednesday, we are gonna be finishing uh, the week. Así que eh, les pido, please, 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 si tienen un espacio en la cual ustedes puedan seguir avanzando con lo de las tareas, se los agradecería bastante para que no nos atrasemos como pasó la semana pasada. Y vieron varios que, que, que se atrasaron bastante, okay? Y pues como a mí me presionan por ello, yo también tengo que presionarlos. Así que 
please, uh, si tienen un space, uh, uh, you know, like, traten de hacerlo. Uh, yeah, Carlos. Este, usted dijo que había que hacer el mid, mid ¿verdad? ¿El cuál? Mid, el mid y Yes, creo que usted ya lo hizo. Uh -huh. Sí, yo lo hice, pero solo una pregunta no le respondí porque no me daba opción cómo, entonces la, la dejé así. Lo demás todo lo hice. Ah, de veras, ¿cuál fue? Eh, no me acuerdo, sí, creo que era la, la tercera, no sé, pero la dejé. Solo ajá, dejé eso, pero no. Ya no pude seguir. Mm. Entonces tuve que dejarla. Voy a revisar. Claro que de ese es el repaso de todo, por eso. Que en vez de las mismas preguntas, son ya pasadas. Mm, yeah, mis are similar questions. Esas son simplemente eh, preguntas similares y todo. Eh, si pueden ir avanzando con relación a los topics en la, en la plataforma, igual pueden hacerlo. Recuerden, la plataforma ustedes la tienen como un método de práctica adicional. Y si ustedes se quedan capaces ya que pueden ir avanzando igual en lo del examen final, eh, I mean, this, it's up to you. También lo pueden hacer sin ningún problema. All right. eh, últimamente con lo que he estado teniendo problemitas un tanto es que como muchos han estado de oyentes en las últimas clases, casi todas las clases, eh, con respecto a los 10 minutos de feedback hay algunos que posiblemente no los tengan por la misma situación que están de oyentes. All right. eh, la verdad es bastante no tan común que suceda esto con los grupos anteriores. Si recuerdan los que están conmigo en el módulo 1, por lo general, en módulo 1, si, no si más lo recuerdo, éramos 24 participantes. Y por lo general, casi todos se conectaban. Entonces, eh, ahora he tenido clases de hasta 9 participantes. Y, y, y la verdad, I mean, it's, it's, it's wearing this thing because mm, si así seguimos, posiblemente pues, puedan dispararse para otros grupos. Y este grupo pues, pueda desaparecer eh, en un futuro módulo. Yo espero que eso no pase. O espero que agreguen más personas acá, porque ya yeah, creo que hay muchos que no sé si, si, si van a continuar para el siguiente módulo. Right? Pero espero que los lo, con los que estamos trabajando ya yeah, puedan, puedan, puedan hacerlo, puedan continuar. And uh, we're going to be working okay, the same way. Now I'm going to pass the attendance list and I'm going to uh, finish the class. In this case, uh, I'm going to stay with, with you, Veronica, today. All right, and a 10 minutes feedback. It's going to be with you. Um, ya lo tuvimos el viernes. Wow. Yeah, it was with you, right? So that's going to be with Xiomara then. Xiomara, I haven't taken the 10 minutes feedback with you, right? Jesus Christ. So you see, imagine. Estamos por clase 13 apenas. Xiomara, are you there? Nah, don't tell me you want to sleep, Xiomara. Are you there? Hmm. Let me see. I want to pass first the attendance list and then I want to check if she's still there. Uh, Andres Joel? Is he there? Okay, apparently he's there, but he doesn't answer. Carlos Mauricio? Present. All right, Mr. Uh, Cindy Melanie? No, okay, she's just present in there. Uh, Stephanie Michel, all right, she got problems with the internet. Uh, Ivania Jamilet. Ivania, I mean, she, she got disconnected. Jacqueline Patricia. I mean, she just got connected, but she felt bad. Joanna Sarai. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jorge Alberto, he is not here. Jose Edgar, okay, he said present. Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay, cool. Julio Cesar, not here. Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, perfect. Carla Lisette. Present. Very good. Raquel Estefan. Descuento, descuento. <laughs> Ah, le voy a poner los 10 minutos de feedback otra vez. Ah, ok, cool. Raquel, uh, Verónica Arely. Present. Ah, ok, cool. Wendy Jamilet, is my here. 
William Ernesto. Present. All right, William. I think you're gonna be the last one, man, with the with the feedback. So we're gonna have okay. it today. No problem. Man, that's weird. Okay, cool. Uh so Mar Elizabeth. Okay, she's not there. Uh, Carlos Josué. Present. Nice. And the last one, Reynaldo Chavez, which is not here. Okay. Let's see you tomorrow, people, in a new video conference. Okay. Take care. Have a wonderful night. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye. Bye. Descuento, descuento. Descuento, descuento. En el pastel, me Piénselo y me dice. Vaya a dormir, <risa> hombre. Vaya, gracias. Y, y. A, a de hablar dormida. Reconsidera a, pasar el módulo. <risa> ok. A, Podemos a hacer un trueque. Vaya. A, a, a de hablar dormida lo diciendo voy a descuento, en... descuento. Lo voy a ofrecer descuento. Man, pero a en me va a aparecer en los sueños así. Descuento, descuento. Al final. Descuento, descuento. Ok. <risa> Ay, Carla, good night. Buenas noches, sí. Ok, bye, bye. Bye. Right. Give me one second. I'm going to take out these people from here. Man, I don't know what happened with these people. No sé qué pasa con la mayoría. Que casi todos se conectan y solo de oyentes. That's weird. No, yo, a, a, mí, me, a mí me ha tocado eso porque de verdad... He estado trabajando y, y el, por ejemplo, el viernes, por más que me quise conectar, no me dejó conectarme. <risa> ya, man, o sea, hasta me asusté que me hablaron el sábado. Me hablaron el sábado de allí de, de, de inglés corporativo. En serio. Preguntándome que por qué no me había conectado, en serio. <risa> no, sí, sí, es que. Eh, y no sé, la verdad, los demás, hay muchos que sí están ahí, pero no sé si es que se duermen o, o, o no sé. No, pero contest que... Contestan una vez, pero ya después. Pero bueno, la verdad que a mí cuando yo cuando no contesto porque tengo problemas ahí, pero ahí aviso en el chat o, o estoy pendiente Exacto. de decir algo. No, pero no, bueno. Pero anyways, vamos a ver cómo tratamos. Ese no, aprove no aprovechan, eso. hombre. Eso es lo peor, que no aprovechan, que esto Exacto. se lo están dando, pero... Es que creo, que algunos, que... creo que algunos es que los, lo, como que les, últimamente como que les cambiaron el horario y no sé si es que les chocará también con lo del trabajo. Pues... Podría bueno, ser. Bueno, puede vamos, ser, pero con, la verdad que a mí me ha, to, me ha tocado, como le digo, en este <risa> módulo, sí, mire, me ha fallado el, el Inter. Ya, ven, en tocado, me ha to, No, y diga que hasta ahorita, hoy no me ha fallado, mire, que ha sido Ajá. un milagro que no me ha fallado. Ay, ya, me es de cierto, de cierto. Y o, o salgo tarde o me falla el Internet. <risa> no. Ya, ministro, no, pero, pero ver, sí, me he, puesto por, me he puesto por lo menos a practicar y, y porque sí avancé en las tareas, casi ah, creo que hice hasta las 15, 15 o 16, right. creo que llegué ya. Ah, ok. No, me y así he estado escuch, escuchando los, la, por lo menos la del viernes más que todo, escuché un poco la, el repaso. Ah, I mira, mean, es cool, es cool. Uh, and I don't know if, if related to this, to this topic, do you have any questions? No sé si hay alguna duda con respecto a las a los temas anteriores. Pues Something. no, pero la verdad es que, que más que todo la semana pasada se habló bastante del cool y del show. Uh -huh. Entonces, pues sí, no, 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 la verdad es que estamos bien. Ya, yeah, mientras... que aunque, lo, aunque los exámenes hay unas preguntas que son de, de pura lógica, pues. Exactly. No, y es que a veces, no... ajá, sí, a veces, a, a veces hay que poner una una letra mayúscula y si no la pone le sale mal. <risa> ah, sí. A ver, sí. Esto, esto. Pero es que ahí en la misma, en la misma indicación lo dice. Uh -huh. Sí. Hay eh, muchos que como... no lean las indicaciones, a veces por eso pasa. <risa> pues sí, o sea, lo que yo sé que a veces toca hacerlo en la carrera prácticamente, pero hoy estoy tratando la manera de, hacer, de como lo hago siempre en el teléfono. Ah, hoy estoy aprovechando eh, al, al mediodía o, o un rato que tenga espacio en el trabajo, que en horas normales es bien difícil, pues. Pero Ajá, ya, yeah, cool. Ahí aprovecho yo a avanzar ahora con las tareas. Ah, mira, es cool, eso es bueno. Porque antes me tocaba salir en la noche después de la clase, pero como ah. me ha estado fallando mucho el internet en sí, la sí, noche, sí. Sí, sí. entonces dije, no voy a cambiar la rutina, dije. Ajá. Uh 
Ajá, sí, es, es mejor hacerlo en algún espacio que tenga disponible. Ya, yeah, menos true. No, la verdad que, bueno, dudas, no sé. Bueno, hay palabras que a veces no las no, no, no la sé pronunciar, pero trato la manera de, de anotarlas, de voy escribiendo cómo se pronuncia. Eso es lo que trato la, la manera de ah, hacerlo. Ah, cool. Ajá, y eso es bastante bueno. Eso es bastante Ajá. bueno de poderlo hacer. Y así es como he ido más o menos aprendiendo la, a mencionar las palabras. Que, hacer, ah. que sé que me cuesta, pues. Ajá, sí, sí, sí. Sí, porque hay algunas que a veces suelen costar un poco más que otras. A ver. Sí, pero sí lo que sí me... Fíjese que sí le entiendo bastante lo que cuando habla y todo. Uh -huh. lo, que, lo que sí me cuesta a mí es saberle contestar bastante la, la práctica, y el speaking y todo eso es lo que me cuesta a mí. Ah, ya. Como sí. Estoy cometiendo el error de querer pensarlo en español y después decirse. Entonces ese es el error que estoy cayendo ahorita. Ajá, exactly. No, y eso, eso, eso básicamente se va ganando a través de la práctica. Se va eliminando esa parte. Ajá. Ya, mí, no eso, ya vi que a mí, la, el, a mí el speaking es que me está costando mucho. Ajá. No, pero igual, a través de la práctica ya va a ver que poco a poco va a ir desapareciendo esa, esa, esa parte así. Ok. Bueno. So, lo único que tenemos que hacer es igual, en las actividades de listening y de, de speaking, pues tenemos que participar un poco más. Simplemente para, you know, like the more you practice, the, the better you get. Entre más practica, mejor, mejor es porque va aprendiendo. Ah, más. Pues, pues a mí pregúnteme más. Que, que <risa> yo no, yo pues como usted <risa> menciona <risa> los nombres, entonces. Ajá, a veces, yo, a veces yo paso que de repente le digo algo, pero, uh -huh. pero como casi siempre menciona el nombre que quien, quien quiere que lea, entonces. Ajá, pues yeah, por, mí, por mí, por mí más. <risa> ok, I will, I will. Para mí, mejor que, mejor que practique más. Ok, perfecto. Sí, you know, somehow it's better. Es bueno eso. Ok, ok, cool. Yeah. Man. I'm really glad that you, that you have been understanding everything from the topic. Lo bueno que ha ido, eh, digamos, entendiendo cada uno de los temas. All right, that's cool. Let's remember, yeah. siempre, man. siempre que pues, tengamos alguna duda, igual es de preguntar y no quedarnos con esa pequeña duda, right? Porque a veces con unas pequeñas dudas es que creamos grandes yeah, conflictos yeah. en los temas, por así decirlo. Pero es cool. Es cool that you, have, you don't have any questions on those things. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Y si no hay nada más que agregar entonces, nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Entonces, sí, pues, no, no. Todo bien, Ticho. Así que descuento, descuento. Cabal, <risa> <risa> ah, bueno, como Carla. <risa> como Cotorra le agarró rápido. No, ah, sí, ah, no, no sí, que Carla sí. <risa> No, si se nota que tiene, que tiene, tiene habilidades para eso. <risa> no, está bien. Bueno, pues. Entonces, bueno, pues, dice, good night, teacher. Entonces. Good night. See you tomorrow. Ok, perfecto. Bye, bye. Bye.